Hello everybody and welcome back to Bring the Default 2. So we just got finished dealing with Hal Halcyon's invasion or being invaded. And now we're going to Savalon to see what their issue is. Also, did a little job rearrangement. Let's hope he... how it works. Anyhow, you came. Thank goodness. I'll let Prince Pollux know you're here. He'll tell you everything. Very well. Then we shall make our way to the palace. Alrighty. Place is still flooded. You have our thanks for coming all this way, Princess Gloria. It's my pleasure, Prince Pollux. Would you mind telling us what's been going on? Of course. As I asked Anihal to inform you, the Hologradas have demanded that our kingdom join their empire. I put the matter to the Council of Elders, but alas, they were divided. Things were further complicated when two of the Elders passed away in quick succession. Their deaths were deemed to be suicides, but both men happened to be of the faction opposed to joining the Empire. Which is rather suspicious. I'm sure you will agree. You think the Hologradders had them killed? I'm afraid that I do. Hmm. We'll be happy to help in any way we can, of course. Thank you, Your Highness. Perhaps you could speak to some of the Council members. They might be more prepared to open up to one such as yourself. All right, so good old espionage. Not all bad news. Hmm. Cracky, someone looking a wee bit glum. <sighs> I must confess that Sevalon's current plight does concern me rather. Well, Pollux isn't exactly a seasoned leader, and what with all these elders dying in suspicious circumstances? It's a bit of a worry eye. Yes. It's not all bad news, though. I heard they're starting work on repairing the parts of the city that were damaged by all the water. And once it's all gone, they'll be able to finish the job. That is good to hear. I hope the repairs continue to go well. Aye. And these aren't a people to wallow in despair, either. B busy at the gaming hall is... Oh, business at the gaming hall is booming as ever. Really? Even at a time like this? Always say there's four essentials in life. Food, clothing, shelter, and fun. And if they're having fun, it means the other three are covered. I suppose so. Good. Let's get down there and do our bit then. To the gaming hall. Not until the matter of hands resolve, Elvis. We have duties to perform. Ah, your highness, of course. That's me told.
All right, let's go talk to some of these elders and see what the consensus consensus is. Okay, here we got one. The two elders who passed away, they both killed themselves, did they not? Why do you ask? Prince Pollux didn't seem so sure it was suicide. Hmm, well, I do not wish to speak ill of the dead, but we all know what Benar did, do we not? Subverting the affairs of the nation for his own ends. The elders in question could well have been involved in something similar. I have heard that Holograd takes a very dim view of such activities. Perhaps these men were so afraid of what might happen to them if Savalon joined the Empire, that they took matters into their own hands. Hmm. Could be, I guess. Thanks for your help. How do you feel about joining the Empire, by the way? Are you for it, or against it? Oh, I am all for it. The alternative is war. The people would suffer terribly. In any case, I am late for a council meeting. I must be on my way. Good day to you. So we got one for join the Empire. The deaths of those two elders. They were suicides, were they not? Or are you suggesting otherwise? Well, the circumstances are pretty suspicious. Suspicious, you say? You have been talking to Prince Pollux, I assume. He certainly does not seem to believe that those poor men killed themselves. Well, they were both opposed to joining the Empire, and they both happened to die. You can see why he might believe Holograd had something to do with it. Yes. And I must confess, I am inclined to agree with him. After all, Savalon is as far from Holograd as it is possible to get. An invasion would be a difficult and long-winded affair. I can understand why they would attempt to subdue the kingdom through such machinations instead. Of course, I have not a shred of evidence to support this theory, which puts me in a very awkward position. Though it is nothing compared to the situation in which Prince Pollux has found himself following the death of his brother. It is our duty as elders to support him. Speaking of which, I must attend a meeting. Perhaps we will have the chance to talk again later. Okay. So we can kind of say... I don't know, he seems on the fence. Maybe he is against joining Hologram. Maybe he is, but he does suspect foul play. Up the steps. Wait, gotta go around. What about you, good sir? It was the curse. It was the curse that killed them. What do you mean? They conspired with Bernard to have their fellow elder, Lupus, tried for a crime he did not commit. They did? So, uh, what happened to Lupus after that? He killed himself, stabbed himself in the chest with a dagger. Suicide. And now we have two more suicides. Bernard is dead, and now his co-conspirators are dead. Do you not see? This is Lupus's revenge from beyond the grave. It is a curse, I tell you. The thought makes my blood run cold. It chills me to my very core. Okay, so now we got a curse. Those who will work with Bernard seem to lose their lives. Now we got one more elder to talk to. And see how he feels about the whole situation. Or maybe he's the one working with Holograd. And had the others killed. Let's find out. Oh, here he is. What? The dead elders. I have no interest in them. Dwelling on the past will not help us adjust to our new reality. We will soon be part of the Empire. I guess you're in favor of joining, then. Indeed I am. 
As with any transaction, it is a simple matter of weighing the costs against the benefits. The fact is that our kingdom is in chaos. If we were to make a stand against the Hologradas now, it would be the end of us. Besides, <sighs> but I must be on my way. A council meeting is starting soon. Please, excuse me. All right, a little suspicious of that guy. Seems like he's up to something. But everyone had to go to a meeting. What is this meeting everyone has to attend? But nobody knows what it's about. All right, King Pollux. My apologies for keeping you waiting. Lady Sickness asked for my assistance with an issue that has arisen. You have my undivided attention now, however. Tell me, what did you learn from your interviews with the Elders? Lupus, you say? It was his place on the council that Bernard took, and some suspect that he was accused of a crime he did not commit, and that the ordeal led him to take his own life. And you think there might be some truth to this? One of the people we spoke to said that the two elders who died recently were cursed, that it was their punishment for framing Lupus. I shall have to discuss the matter with Dromid. He will know more, I am sure. And fortunately, the Council has just approved my proposal to consult with him on the matter of Holograd's request that we join the Empire. Come, we will visit him in his cell and see what he has to say. I don't remember seeing no, no one in the cell, in the dungeon by the name of Lupus. There was just one dude in there who was, uh, you know, worried about his brother. Prince Pollux? Is something the matter? Well, no. But did you not enter the dungeon just moments ago? Certainly not. I have just arrived. Oh, no! Come on, we need to hurry. Hmm? But why? I'll explain later. Right now, Drummond's in danger. What in the... Dromid! Hmm? Oh, your Highness, there are two of you. <laughs> Who's the imposter? So, the time has come, and earlier than expected. The time to kill you all. Oh, this is not the real fight. Prepare to die. In your face. Hmm. What's the plan? Uh, yeah, you can tell this ain't the real fight because it's not uh that blue like void area. Here I go. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. Well, we just going to see how this turns out. Like, oh, you know what? Mm. It can't hurt that bad. Get some. Miss. I've got a little something for you. Yeah. Okay. 
Magnifying glass. Light and spears. Let me see. Well, I got that. Hit with the holy. Primordial forces consume you. I've got you covered. How thoughtful of you. Okay. Oh, wait. I'll sit this one out. Sorry to be a pain. You rang? Okay. Does she have? See, how, see how she handles this. Your forces consume you. Millstone of magic consume you. I'm up, huh? Defaulting? Not a smart thing to do. Allow me. Blind them with your brightness. We all have our weaknesses. How thoughtful of you. Are you okay? <laughs> Here I go. I'll sit this one out. Ah, much better. <laughs> Yeah, she like My little thunder. Forces consume you. Millstone of magic consume you. I. I've got you covered. No big deal. What the hell was that? Sorry to be a pain. Hmm. What's the plan? Ha. Okay, she has three big pain. Let me see. Here was some more holy magic assail you. Ah, uh, what the hell? I grow bored of this. Time to withdraw. <gasps> she just vanished. Crikey. What was that? A, a ghost? Something to do with this curse? No, nothing of the sort. Whoever she was, she dropped her necklace. <laughs> it seems you arrived just in time. You have my thanks. But why come after me? I guess somebody wants you out of the way. It seems you know more of the circumstances than I. Would you care to explain? Forgive us, Drummond. The kingdom finds itself in dire need of your wisdom. I see. Much has been afoot. Indeed. And I would hear your thoughts. How should we proceed, old friend? Well, from what you have told me, there would seem to be little doubt that Holograd has been engaging in clandestine activity within the kingdom. Perhaps I am an obstacle to their scheme in some way, hence their attempt to eliminate me. It must be something you know, something vital to their plans. Indeed. But what? The bulk of my knowledge concerns the history and governance of Savalon. If we can deduce what it is they believe I know, we might be able to make some sense of all this. Only the Council knew that I was coming here to meet with Dromed, which means an Elder is responsible. But what could they have been so keen to keep you from telling me? Let's go and talk to them all again, eh? The culprit's bound to let something slip eventually. All right, so one of the council members are up to no good again. Probably that guy we talked to 
near Bernard's old uh, loot stash. Actually, jobs. No, not jobs, abilities. Don't really need divining rod right now. Let's see how that dual shield thing works. A water on fire shield and just a regular giant shield. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, party chat. Who done it? I can't stop thinking about the suicides of these elders. There just isn't any way that it's a coincidence. Yeah, it's gotta be something to do with the ones who want to join the Empire and the ones who don't, right? Which would suggest that a member of the council was behind it all. Right, which is why I did a little research on them all. So, uh... Sai Gunnus? Sai... I don't know. And Delphinus are what you might call the pro-Empire faction. We already met that person. She seems to be a pretty serious sort of person. And Delphinus, well, he sounds the opposite. Rumor has it that he likes to gamble a lot. Then there's Draco. He's kind of a free fence setter. Basically, he'll go along with whatever Prince Pollux decide. And finally, there's Leo. He's against joining the Empire, but... But... Well, it sounds like all kinds of rumors have been flying around about him since the other Elders died. So, where to begin? So, basically... They were against joining the Empire, because those seems... Uh... Three to one... With one just gonna be like, all right, the prince. Oh. The elders did not commit suicide, you say? They were murdered by hologratters. That's right. And they tried to murder Dramad too. Luckily, we got there first. The assassin dropped this necklace. Hmm. It is a valuable clue, no doubt, but I am afraid it means nothing to me. But wait. Dogs and other animals can use the scents left on personal items to trace their owners. Can they not? Perhaps something similar might yield results. For, forgive me, I am too busy to speak with you at the moment. Hmm. What is it, Gloria? Oh, nothing, I'm sure. It was just her perfume. It had the rather unique aroma of musk. Musk? What's that? It is an extract from a certain type of deer, prized for its unique fragrance. Hard to come by in Savalon, I should imagine. I wouldn't think that there are very many people who wear it. I mean, if it wasn't for the, you know, clearly trying to avoid us uh, deal, that uh, very unusual perfume gives it away. What? The elders who supposedly killed themselves were assassinated by hologradders. That is quite a claim. And I have little to say in response. Please understand. I am in favor of joining the Empire. It is the best way to avoid a war. It will also create numerous trading opportunities for Savalon. It is not ideal. And to reach this conclusion was not easy. But life does not consist of easy decisions. You would do well to remember that. At first I was like, oh, yeah, 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 is it a, a traitor scumbag? But the last statement makes you think he's a traitor scumbag. Alright, but let's gather them all together and question them. Oh, damn. I forgot about the one in the gaming hall. Oh, well. Now let's go talk to him in the gaming hall. I got a chance. 
Let's see what he's all about. Is he still talking about the curse? Then we talk to the dog. Get him to sniff the necklace and track down uh, the assassin. Or one of Annie Hal's pets. Friends. Alrighty. Try to get past all the stools. You wish to know more about Lupus? Very well. He was a good man, diligent and honest to a fault. That is why Bernard and his partners in crime were able to take advantage of him as they did. It was perhaps merciful that his wife had already passed away, but it meant that his death left their only daughter orphaned. A terrible business. The full details of the family and all that came to pass are sure to appear in the kingdom's official records. Dromed will be able to tell you more, no doubt. So Lupus had a daughter. Who? Who Drummond knows something about. Could that be the reason they want him dead? The daughter is heir to something. Something the Empire requires. Is that the necklace you recovered from the floor of my cell. Would you mind if I examined it more closely? My word. This is Lupus's family crest. But why was my would-be assassin in possession of such an item? Well, have you identified the traitor? You have. Excellent. I shall call an emergency meeting of the council immediately. Thank you all for gathering here at such short notice. As you are well aware, the council recently lost two of its members. I am sorry to inform you that there is a strong likelihood they were killed by agents of Holograd. However, with the assistance of Dromed and Princess Gloria, we have managed to unmask the traitor. If you would. Thank you, Your Highness. We'll take it from here. First of all, it is important to note that the two elders who were murdered were... Of course, their assassin could only have known this if they had infiltrated the Council. The killer then turned their attention to Dromid. Why? Well, he must have had knowledge of something from the kingdom's past that the killer would have preferred not to be made public. In order to attempt the assassination, the traitor disguised themselves as Prince Pollux, knowing the guards would be expecting him. However, not everybody knew that the prince was due to visit Dromed. In fact, luckily, we were able to intercept the assassin. Less luckily, they were able to escape. However, they dropped something in the process. It was a necklace. And this necklace has a very distinctive smell. The smell of perfume. The same perfume worn by... It's you, Lady Cygnus. You're the traitor. <laughs> well, Lady Cygnus. Would you care to explain yourself? Did you really do this? And if so, why? Revenge for my father. You mean you are Maya, Lupus's daughter? Not anymore. I am Marla now. But why? Why all this? I told you, revenge. 
I killed the people who killed my father. The Lord Commander gave me an asterisk. That of the Phantom. And I used it well. But enough talk. Time to die, Prince Pollux. Get back, Your Highness! All hands on deck! Prepare to die! In your face! Okay, sorry about that. I had to run to the bathroom. Alright. So now the real battle starts. Is she still the same? Nope, gotta scan her again. Allow me. Uh, let's see. Let's just heal up. Holy spirits, heal me. Thanks for your help. Okay then. Ha! Whoa! Now I lay the smack down on her. Hopefully. Get some. Here it comes. All right, give me that. Again? I've got a little something for you. Damn! Everything I fucking missed. Nothing like the long game. I've got you covered. It's nothing. How do you like this? Oh, thanks for bailing me out. <laughs> Alright, let's see if she got a counter for old magic here. Strike down my enemies! <laughs> Primordial forces consume you! What is What's her other hit? job? Oh, for me. Uh, it's time to get serious. Here I go. Here, let me show you how to use a shield. Are you talking? Pretty good, right? All right. Her with that holy. Primordial forces consume you. I. Ouch. Ain't really doing much to the devil. All right, let's see how she likes a little disaster. Primordial forces consume you. Millstrom of magic assail you! Haha, <laughs> I'm back in the game! Oh, thanks for bailing me out. Another hole? Maelstrom of magic assail you! Wonderful! Alright then! Try harder than that. Easy does it. 
You okay? Want to see what I can really do? Okay, give him, give him the Gale uh, Force Flurry. Pay close attention. Freezing Blades coming your way. <laughs> hmm, what's the plan? I hope it's not to be shitting on your parade, but. I mean, you ain't do much. You ain't do much to be laughing like that. To be honest. Okay. Ha! Cheers. I owe you one. Ah, right, she defaulted at a bad time. Oh, thanks for bailing me out. Keep it coming. We will actually save the special. I'm going all in! Because. Pressure point will be most effective against her. If Seth does what I asked him to. See how you like this! Not ah, fuck. Try this for size! Okay, didn't miss that time, luckily. Got a little something for ya! I missed that time. I have killed the men who betrayed my father. Now I will destroy Savalon itself. No one will stand in my way. No one. Very well. Okay, how much health you got? Okay. Primordial forces consume you. We all have our weaknesses. Oh, now she counters magic. I <laughs> Sorry to be a pain. You rang? Let's see what this what this Just does to her. Peace upon the breeze. Primordial forces consume you. Cheers. I owe you one. Let me see. Holy. Maelstrom of magic assail you. Let's try fire. Reduce my enemies to ashes. Primordial forces consume you. Haha, <laughs> I'm back in the game. Holy magic. Primordial forces consume you. Ha! Brutally effective. Lord Adam is the only one who cared for me. He is the only ruler I would ever follow. And I will gladly give my life for his cause. You okay? It's How do you like this? Here I go. Ah, she missed. That's what you get. 
That was a close one, eh? Let me at him! Alright, let's try this special. Anchors away! Ah! That was a nice You're chunk done. of damage. Alrighty. Primordial forces consume you! Maelstrom of magic assail you! I've got you covered! In your face! Allow me. Where would that holy? Let me see. Blind them with your brightness. We all have our weaknesses. Haha, <laughs> I'm back in the game. Oh, thanks for bailing me out. I'm up, huh? Mmm, excuse me. Shot blizzard on her, yeah. Face of my enemies. That's the least effective one. You. All right, let's try this again. Here it comes. Let's see if we can hit her. Prepare for impact. Yes. Sweet. You okay? And she missed her counter. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, sweet. Another one? Like this. Can we get three in a row? Oh, yes. Commander. Sure, you've had it bad, but that's no excuse. Every day, in every yeah. way, I get more awesome. He lays a smack down when he listens. Phantoms are lethal dagger specialists capable of moving so unbelievably fast that enemies are often unable to react. Never-ending nightmare. Perform an extremely powerful physical attack on a target. If the target is defeated, another action can be performed. Become the lightning. Increase the user's physical and magical attack by 25% for three turns. Stats cannot be increased yet. Let's we'll see what she looks like without her asterisk. I failed. I am useless. A disgrace. Wait, no! Thanks to Anihal, we have located the remains of the real Lady Sickness. It would appear that the imposter was in place for quite some time. Forgive me, Your Highness. I only wish I had not been so blind to the deception that was taking place. You have nothing to apologize for, Dromed. Indeed, without your invaluable insight, the stranger in our midst would never have been unmasked. I hope that you see now how much we need you as our... I cannot in good conscience return to my former role, Your Highness. My actions were unbecoming of a royal record keeper, unbecoming of any decent citizen, truth be told. I deserve and desire to remain imprisoned. I hope you understand. If that is what you wish, Stromed, then I shall not stand in your way. Though I hope that in time you will feel ready to return to your rightful place. And you, Princess Gloria, what do you intend to do next? I intend to go to Holograd and recover the Wind Crystal. I see. Then allow me to offer you my kingdom's assistance. We cannot simply stand idly by while they continue to ride roughshod over our friends and allies. And besides, you and your friends have come to Savalon's aid not once, but twice now. It is only fitting, therefore, that we attempt to return the favor. Prince Pollux, I... 
we can discuss the finer details en route. Come, Princess Gloria. There is no time to waste. Thank you, Your Highness. Your assistance is very much appreciated. Halcyonia should be our first port of call. King Vernon awaits our return. Greetings, King Vernon. I trust that you are well. Prince Pollux, it has been far too long. Although I had hoped that when we met again, it would be under happier circumstances than these. Roddy has already arrived from Wiswold. I promised I'd help Princess Gloria, and here I am. Roddy! Ha ha ha! Good to see you, pal. Friends, we have all, in one way or another, come under attack by the Hologradders. Had it not been for the efforts of Princess Gloria and her friends, I doubt any of us would still have a country to call home. You give me too much credit. Now, if what we have discovered is correct, the attack on Musa three years ago was the first act of aggression in the current campaign. As we are all aware, those who attacked my kingdom that day also stole the crystals. Fire, water, wind and earth. The power of the cardinal elements resides within each of these sacred treasures. But they are more than mere vessels. They have a far greater purpose. They are the keys that keep a great evil locked away. Many years ago, my grandfather and three comrades fought that evil. The Knight's Nexus. Who, or even what it is, I do not know. But its unleashing brought a series of great calamities upon the land. The four brave warriors faced it, each blessed with the power of one of the crystals. And after a brutal battle, the Nexus was sealed away once more. But its evil is great. Too great for even the crystals to keep in check forever. Their power must be replenished every 200 years, lest they grow too weak. And doing so was my kingdom's sworn duty. We were charged with ensuring that the crystals remained powerful enough to keep the evil contained. But then the crystals were stolen, and as their powers wane, the seal grows ever weaker. Fortunately, upon examining the three crystals we recovered, I learned that some of their power still remains. The seal should hold for a little while longer. But if we do not act now, it is only a matter of time before the Knight's Nexus is unleashed. If we are to save the world, we must stand together. The bravery of one must be the bravery of all. Halcyonia stands with you, Princess Gloria, as it always has. As does Savalon. It is the least we can do, after all you have done for us. I still can't quite believe my old pal's a hero of light. But I'm with you all the way, Elvis, just like I've always been. We'll teach Holograd to invade our homelands. Then it is settled. We march to Holograd on your command, Princess Gloria. Aye. I can't wait to get cracking some Holograd our heads. Long live the Heroes of Light! Long live the Heroes of Light! Long live the Heroes of Light! Party chat. Something to be proud of. Halcyone, Savalon, Wizwall, three proud nations standing shoulder to shoulder. Hologram cannot prevail in the face of such power combined. Aye, this is big and no mistake. Alliances like this don't come along often. 
need not is a testament to the gravity of Holograd's crimes. And a testament to your power of persuasion, Gloria. Yeah, that speech you gave was incredible. I've heard more than one soldier talk about how proud they are to be fighting alongside the Princess of Musa. And they're not the only ones. We're all proud of you of you on this. I don't think I've read about anything like this happening ever before. Just goes to show you how much the world wants to Adam's mad plans put to a stop. Well, Musa may be gone, but at least now it has something to be proud of. All that remains is to fill my duty and ensure the Alliance efforts have not been in vain. Alright then, let's do this. Just one more just one crystal to go and Holograd, here we come. Another party chat? Sheesh, they are very talkative. Savalon's future. Seems like Savalon's going to have a tough time of it for a little while. Aye, there's not even enough elders for the council to function. What do you think will happen? New elders will have to be selected. The council cannot sit until it has the required number of members to do so. And who are they going to choose? Local bigwigs? That kind of thing? Prince Prox and the remaining elders will draw up the short list. Draw up a short list. They will then discuss the candidates among themselves before making a final decision. Sounds like a pain in the neck. Sure, there's several ways of doing things. It's worth taking the time to do things right when the future of a nation is at stake. After all, they don't want to go picking another Bernard. Good point. <laughs> I forgot you know about these things, Elvish. You being a big wig yourself. <laughs> Some of my relatives helped found Wizwall, that's all. It's not much of a big deal back home, honestly. Anyway, there are times when even big words have to forget about the ins and outs of politics and think about their people instead. In indeed, recent events must surely have shown the elders how precautious their positions can be. But if Holograd actions have done one thing, it is bring them together, bring together the people of Savalot in the face of an invader. Yeah, no one is going to want to join forces with a country that's been killing their council members. And there will be no need to do so. I have faith in the people of Sevalon and of Prince Pollux. Alright, so we saved all three kingdoms, got three jobs, and now we're all aligned to go kick Adam's butt and uh, take back the Wayne Crystal. But that will be in the next episode, so I hope you all enjoyed Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.